Melania just abruptly left DC after getting horrible news and brought one key person with her to help. Melania Trump has a lot on her plate this all the time, as a very hands-on mother of a young son, and First Lady of the United States. Both roles come with far more responsibilities than people realize or give her credit for, but that she takes very seriously. She's kept a very limited staff to keep her costs to taxpayers small, but also because she wants to be personally attentive to all things on her plate. This time of year is especially busy for a person in her position, with all the preparations and celebrations of the season. However, one phone call changed everything she had planned, when she dropped it all to head out of Washington, D.C., after receiving heartbreaking news. She didn't go alone and now we know why. What makes this sudden excursion especially monumental isn't just that she's taking and bringing a certain someone with her. It also proves something truly special about her that Americans haven't seen yet, but have waited eight long years for a first lady like this incredible woman. Melania has proved that nothing comes before her compassion as she wears her heart on her sleeve and gives it to anyone and everyone who has a need. Despite all of the criticism she has received during her philanthropic efforts, over every innocuous thing unrelated to what she's really doing, Melania forges ahead and stays true to her and others she has a heart for. She doesn't care what people say about her. She's only concerned with helping other people even if that comes with a side of hateful remarks from irrelevant people who dislike what she wore while reaching out. Today, she returned to place where she became the center of attack for her shoes to be with the people who needed her help again and didn't care what she wore there. Hours before her departure, the White House released a statement about her travels and who she was bringing with her First Lady Melania Trump and Second Lady Karen Pence will travel to Texas tomorrow, December 6, to continue their efforts in assisting those affected by this year's devastating hurricane season. Upon arrival to Corpus Christi, the two will participate in a meet and greet with first responders who are part of the Hurricane Harvey recovery effort. Mrs. Trump and Mrs. Pence will then travel to Rockport, Texas to meet with a family whose home was destroyed in the hurricane, and tour the home's remains. They will also see the family's new manufactured housing unit, provided by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, which will serve as the family's temporary residence until they can move into a new, rebuilt home. The First Lady didn't just show up after the original disaster for a photo op which Michelle Obama was notorious for, she returned after the tragedy had been long since passed, but she had not forgotten. Equally as impressive was that Second Lady Karen Pence went with her since it was so important to be a part of this effort and help everyday Americans, that she dropped everything as well to help. Either or both women could have released a statement to serve the purpose of attention but they prove that the people hurting during what can be an especially difficult time of year, is what's really important to them. Nobody was expecting these two exceptional women, they decided to make the trip and this busy time of year on their own, because they wanted to. In doing so, they demonstrated the real reason for the season that President Donald Trump has recently preached. It's giving to others that's important, not just taking, as the Obamas have, and continue to do at every chance they can get. Mrs. Trump and Mrs. Pence will also visit a local elementary school, touring classrooms and speaking with faculty and students about the hurricane. The two women will conclude their day in Texas with a stop at a local food bank to meet with volunteers and help sort boxes of donations, the White House press release added. The effects of the hurricane season are still being felt throughout southern portions of the United States and in Puerto Rico and residents still need our help," said First Lady Melania Trump. While I am hardened by the strength and resilience of those impacted by the storms, I will continue doing all that I can to lend a voice and shine a spotlight on those who need assistance to rebuild and start new family traditions. As Christmas and the New Year approach, I encourage people to lend their time volunteering or providing financial support to those still reeling from the hurricanes. hurricanes.